Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Snakebird. Have you noticed how the menu here sort of changes based on where you are in the game? I think this looks ever so cool at the moment. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, anyway, welcome back, and as always, 2,000 likes on this video, we'll have another daily episode tomorrow. Thank you for all of the support so far, it's been tremendous fun to play this game. Last episode we did levels 27 to 30, so we only got 4 done in that one. Let's try and blitz through quite a few in this one today. <laughs> so, uh, 31 is it, let's go into there. And also, I wanted to comment on the music. I find the music in this game, like, really, really peaceful. And I think that's also because when you're thinking about a puzzle, it takes a lot off your mind as well, you know. You're just focused on the task at hand, and uh, that's really cool. So, what do we have to do here? We have to we have to escape using this block, so we've got to drop our shape. Oh, did we just... Oh! <laughs> now that is interesting. Let's take a couple of steps back. Let's go that way, then up, then like that. Is this even going to work? Oh, we did it. We aced it. That was awesome. <laughs> and that was really, really straightforward. So number 32 is next. And uh, this one looks oh, this one looks quite difficult, actually. I think what we have to do is nudge that down onto this gap so we can move around without being killed by it. We've also got this little fella. He's watching us do the puzzle. Hello. <laughs> he waves at us. How brilliant. Okay. Let's spin you around, you go over there, and you nudge that, and that's kind of safe now, right? That's probably not it, there's probably something more to that. Um, but how do we get... Let's get the blue guy to... Oh! Oh, okay. Not quite what I was expecting. Oh! That actually might work in our favour, believe it or not. Oh no, now he's stuck out the outside here, okay. We're not going to make that move just yet. Let's bring Red through. And what I want him to do is be able to turn around and go back this way. <laughs> I see where the puzzle is now. Whatever way we go, we're not going to be able to really do this, are we? What if Blue nudges us here or, or helps us in some... Oh, no, he's, he's left. <laughs> he's gone. He's doing the off. Right, let's move him around like this. So now Blue goes up there, facing the wrong direction. Not what we want. I'm not sure what I was trying to do there. <laughs> My suspicions were correct and I think we just solved this, so spent a little bit too long. Once again, drilled something into my head that wasn't true. I kept looking at this thing and thinking, yeah, the only way this is going to work is if we drop it down here. And after a while I gave up on that because there didn't seem to be any way to do this. And then playing around, oh, that's done that wrong. <laughs> um, you can do this. You can actually move this guy over. And then you can nudge it over there. And then I was like, well, that's got to be something to do with the solution, right? So as I'm knocking these around, um, you can see that it might not be that straightforward. So now the red guy is going to block... Oh, wrong one. It's going to block blue from going through. Uh, but then red's going to be stuck in a loop going back and forth. So you need blue to nudge that back in. Then we get out of his way. Actually, no, that's wrong, isn't it? Red needs to be here, and blue needs to nudge it back then. Then red can come through. And now they can both get out of there. Terrific. <laughs> Alright, on to the next level. That was another good puzzle. As always, there's something that gets stuck in your head that you believe has to be one way, and it never quite turns out to be true when you're solving it. So, uh, number 34, two pieces of fruit, <laughs> lots of spikes, and another portal to work with. So, we're not allowed... Okay, yeah, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? So we can come through like that, drop back down do it over again. That seems like a pretty good start. Um, then we want to come out like this. I think what we want to do is go back through the portal and find ourselves on this little ledge. Because if we go across, we're not going to make it, are we? So how would we go about doing that? We can't get ourselves directly back onto the same ledge. Maybe with a different shape? No, it doesn't look like it, does it? Let's try... <laughs> nope, that's a dead end. And that's going to land us on there. Okay. I just kind of accidentally did it. You see, I'm up here. Let's undo a few moves. I was thinking about the different shapes we can make as we uh, approach this. So going like this, nope, you fall down. So let's take it back by one. And uh, no, you can't do that. But if we were to go up, then we would have the right shape to fit in there. But for some reason, now it's not going to move us. So we can actually move up round to this one. 
Can we go straight through there to get to the way out? We can't. Oh, we sort of can, actually. So, now that we know the way to do this, I think I did that wrong. Actually, we're probably going to have to spin ourselves around here a couple of times. <laughs> Let's go over into this space. There we go. So, if we go not quite like that. Now we're allowed to go up here. Except we're going to fall short. <laughs> so, we actually need to go through that portal to get through to the other side, right? I mean, we just came out of there. Okay, so that's not good enough, apparently. Let's try it like this. Just enough to fit in the space. And we did it. Another level done. <laughs> that one was uh, quite easy, actually. So, on to the next one. Number 34. Where are you? Okay, they've now brought up the next ones. It's interesting how they pop up. Like, I don't know what the rules are, but... Yeah, they come and go, don't they? Um, let's have a look. Let's focus on this one now. We've got a little fish bird hanging out in the background. And I'm not sure really what to think of this one at first glance. Can't go through there because of the shape. Maybe that's why we need this block. We need it to push ourselves into the correct place. I feel like I'm making a meal out of this. I just want to push it across to the other side. And it might not be that straightforward. Let's get you out of the way. Let's nudge you up so you can spin around. Oh. So if you come back this way, then... Yeah, this isn't going too smooth so far. Not smooth at all, is it? Yeah, now he's completely stuffed over on that side. So I've gotten to this point with the puzzle. We can get blue out of here. And how we did that... Let's just rewind so I can remember. So why didn't green go through? Green has the wrong shape to go through. Which means we can use this one as a prop to get up above. Now, I found a way to sort of move it out of there. We had a little bit of trouble with that, you can see. Yeah, you just got to flip them around, rearrange them, look at them a little bit different, and you can move it into the centre. Um, yeah, but not seeing a solution at this point. Oh, I just figured it out. I was literally just goofing around with other things that we can do. Look at where this block is right now. That's the way we get out of here. How did I do it? Well, I was just experimenting. You see, we can nudge this guy up into that position, which is going to froze it all off. So... I don't think there's too much to this other than, you know, I found a way to get him like this. Yeah, it's all pretty straightforward. So what did we do? We moved him across, him up, and I think I did it a step wrong there. Let's get you to go like that. Right, now it's stuck there, and we can just... Oh, it's as simple as that really, isn't it? There we go. Another puzzle down. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. That one was cool. I like it when you can just experiment and then find the solution as opposed to having to see it more so. But I guess that's more reason to experiment, isn't it? So let's go on to 35. Another one here I'm hoping we can get through quickly. These ones seem to be uh, a lot easier than some of the other ones we've faced. It can be like that, you know. Different brains work in different ways. So sometimes some, some of these are easier for some people than they are others. This is fascinating. Um, I think we've got to somehow jump into a portal making a shape that means we'll be like around like this but because it's above us I'm not sure how we're going to pull that off yeah not sure at all <laughs> yeah I got it look at this I started to uh, remember that you can basically hit the portal with any block of the snake I think and if there's a valid way for it to move through you can so you know tried this oh wrong shape let's go back and make the right shape now we can go in here and get this thing but then how do we get out of here? Can we go up above? Looks like we can. And then we can get ourselves back to this bit. So now, actually I think dropping down from up here might be an important part of how to do this. Let's see. Um, no. Now if we could curl around a little bit then maybe it would. Oh, i tell you what we probably should do is turn ourselves around up here. So, so maybe what we want to do is turn ourselves around. Oh no. <laughs> now I'm getting it all wrong. Got it wrong again. Let's go like that. Oh, no, no, no. I'm getting a lot of this wrong. So we can go around in a circle. What I want to do is turn myself around here. Uh, actually, no. What we want to do is drop down like that. There we go. Got there in the end. So now we want to turn it around. That's fine. That's also fine. 
I can kind of see the solution, I just don't know how to get there at this point. Oh, that's interesting. No, it's not, because <laughs> we're dead. So, I can't remember what it was I was trying to do before, but having sort of analysed this a lot now, I think we need that, but in the opposite shape. We need to hit this portal with our tail and have our head at the bottom, and that's the only shape where we're this size that we can really rest on this platform from this thing, right? So, we're on the right track. The trick is... How do we get it so that we're facing down when this happens and falling onto this one right here? That's what I can't figure out and I've got a feeling maybe it involves using um, like... Oh! <laughs> there you go! Terrific! Right, I love that. That was a lot of fun and now... Ooh, now it's nice and easy to get out of here. Okay, that was awesome. So great to solve it on camera like that, so to speak. <laughs> yep, that was really good. Awesome. So you had to fall back down into the portal. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, on to the next one. And, okay, another another tricky looking one. I never like the spikes. The spikes makes things so awkward and difficult, but obviously we've got to use it to get through. Um, so I think, I think this is going to be a case... Let's look at the length of this guy. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I'm not quite sure how we're going to get the red one across, but I think he's got to become part of a bridge somehow. Uh, actually, he's sort of already in the shape, if you think about it. Let's let's back up with the green guy. And <laughs> maybe that'll do. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Let's go out and come back in. Okay, so we want to get the shape of one, two, three. One, two, three is there. I think we're going to have to rearrange green again. Nope. Sorry, green. <laughs> I did that wrong. Okay, then... Oh, I think green's still kind of in an awkward position. So what way was green facing to begin with? Wasn't he, like, lying down? Right, so we've got to push him off, I think. Can we go out there now? Yes, we can. Let's rearrange it. Bring it back down. Give you a nudge. So there's the three. One, two, three. And then it's just up and across like that. No? Let's see what happens. Right, so now green can sort of get across this far. But then, how does red get out of there? <laughs> uh, red can go up over green. Wow! Oh, we solved that one so quick! I like it! I like these portals. They feel a little more obvious where the solution is. Maybe because the um, the puzzle as a whole revolves around the portal itself, it very directly sort of points you in the right direction, if that makes sense. So, another one here. And I think I can see what this one's about. Like, you want to go out that way, but you can't. You also can't really go up into this space. You could the once, like this. You could also probably, or possibly, no, it doesn't look like you can get up to the next platform, though. So that's one option. But if uh, green, wait, let's let's bring green back to this point, like that. If green can now get across to this portal, ha, <laughs> uh, maybe a ha. Let's see. No, you're gonna get teleported. You're gonna die. Oh, so they have to face the other way when going through, by the looks of it. But there's something to that, I think. And I think we got it. If we just take uh, a few steps back, what did we try? We moved this thing across. Either way, you can see how we got to this. If we move in, in into a shape that blocks that side, then you're not going to be able to get back out. And green is going to be able to rearrange himself and get out as well. That was surprisingly simple. I like it. On to the next one. How many are we charged through this episode? A lot. It looks like we're going to get all of the portal ones done. And maybe even start on... Oh no, I think the snowy ones are a few later. Okay, so we're really getting the hang of this. We have to perhaps make... Oh, this is interesting. This shape right here, I think, is important to solving it. So now... Oh, not quite. Let's move you across by one. See, now green can sort of almost use that. Yeah, this one's going to take a little bit of thought first. Got it. I've definitely got it. This is quite easy. This bit gives it away so much. So much. So if we pop down like this and then go up and across. Look at this shape. Oh, I've done it in the wrong spot. One more cross. There we go. Nope. Like that. So look at the shape. We're going to push this guy up. And his head's going to stick out over here. And the tail is going to fit in that spot. And then he also becomes a staircase for us to get out. 
and for the green guy to get out as well. These ones are easy, I gotta say, these have been the easiest of all of them. I really like the ones with fruit, but they were just an absolute breeze to get through. We've got a little ship hanging out over here, and we've unlocked level 5. Awesome, okay. So let's see how much time we've got left this episode. I think we've got time to squeeze in one more little puzzle, so 39. We're actually really approaching the uh, end of all of these puzzles right now, which is really cool. And gotta say, at first glance, this one looks extremely tricky. I'm noticing these little ledges right here. I'm going to assume that what we want to do is nudge them in there somehow. So let's go down and underneath. And then we go back on ourselves a little bit, sort of. Maybe down into this space. Nudge it. Oh, no, no, not like that. So we've got to use ourselves to continuously prop it up, which is interesting to say the least, because we don't want to do that. Yes. <laughs> this is going to be tricky. Okay, what about... Oh wait, no, can we go back on ourselves a little bit, please? Right, what if we nudge that? Ah, not quite, not quite. I think this is uh, quite the move here, so... I've been sort of worried about this falling down into this spot. However, <laughs> you can nudge it twice, get it all the way over there. And then... Looks like you can bring that one into that space. Oh! No. Let's let's bring it back by one, and let's say we go down and up. Oh, we've we've sort of locked ourselves in a little bit. I wonder if we can make that work like that. No, that was the move. That was the move. Let me show you how I did it. Just decided to bring this thing up, then across that way, so we could drop in behind it like so. And now, ah, <laughs> now we got the next one. Oh, I think we've done it again. We've done it again. Oh my god, we have been on a roll today. That was just incredible, blitzing through them. There we go. Level 39 done. And I think we'll call it a wrap for today. We do level 40 in the next episode. Then we're on to the last, I think, the last five over here. And then it's the special levels. So we're really powering through. It's been absolutely awesome. Again, 2,000 likes. We'll have another daily video tomorrow. But that's it from me. So as always, thank you ever so much for watching. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.